Now, the next award is for original screenplay, and to present it, an actor who is so darn good that if I were to start talking about her talents, I fear I would end up gushing about just how spellbinding, gifted, wondrous, compelling, versatile, beautiful, gorgeous, enchanting. See, I'm doing it. I can't help it. Well, so would you if you had to introduce the bloody wonderful Julianne Moore. I'm hungry. <laughs> Without words, there is nothing. Without someone putting pen to paper or finger to keyboard, none of us would be here this evening. It's truly daunting being faced with a blank page, but thankfully there are some incredibly talented people out there who can overcome that fear and create something wonderful. Five such people have been nominated this evening. Let's take a look at their amazing work. Boyhood, Richard Linklater. Your boyfriend. Wow. Have you heard of Sarah Palin? Yes. What's the one thing you know about Sarah Palin's 17-year-old daughter? She's pregnant. That's right. And what is the one thing that you are not going to be in a couple of years when you turn 17? The Grand Budapest Hotel, Wes Anderson. You see, there are still faint glimmers of civilization left in this barbaric slaughterhouse that was once known as humanity. Indeed, that's what we provide in our own modest, humble, insignificant... Oh, fuck it. Bergman, Alejandro G. Inaritu, Nicholas Giacobone, Alexander Dinolaris Jr., Armando Bo. Is it true you've been injecting yourself with semen from baby pigs? I'm sorry. As what? a method of facial rejuvenation? Where did you read that? It was tweeted by at Prostate Whispers. Whiplash, Damien Chazelle. You think about jazz and my charts and all that, and because of that, you're going to start to resent me. And you're gonna tell me to ease up on the drumming, spend more time with you because you're not feeling important. And I'm not gonna be able to do that. And really, I'm just gonna to start to resent you for even asking me to stop drumming. Nightcrawler, Dan Gilroy. Agreed. Wait, uh, what about one? What about more? You know? Not now. We close the deal. I could have gotten more, couldn't I? Absolutely. And the BAFTA goes to Wes Anderson, the Grand Budapest Hotel. <laughs> to collect the award on Wes's behalf, my old buddy, Ray Fines. I have a letter from Wes. It goes like this. If Rafe Fiennes is reading this speech, it must mean I have won a BAFTA for our screenplay. <laughs> In absentia. I was already most unhappy to miss this event, but now I'm actually really angry and resentful that I'm not there. <laughs> and I'm furious. I blame the Directors Guild of America for requiring my presence in Los Angeles where, most likely, I have already failed to win a different prize. <laughs> I extend my very deepest thanks to the British Academy, of which I am a member in good standing, and I look forward very, very eagerly to getting a hold of this award physically in my own hands as quickly as FedEx can possibly deliver it to me. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Congratulations to Wes 